Let's try to solve the cumulative sum question now through self chain. In the previous video, I have explained what exactly is cumulative sum, what are the real use cases which are used in the industry, and why an sum over Windows function is the most optimal approach of using them. But still, let's try to solve this through a self join. Okay, so what is a self join? When the table joins with itself, so I have created the stable transaction table. If it joins with itself, then we call that join as a self join. Nothing. It's a very simple. It's just a concept. Okay, so you are joining two tables. If the table is exactly the same, then it is it is a self join. What I need to do is, you need to write a query to find the cumulative sum of revenue only through self join. Okay, so this idea, this column idea, I want for first row it should be ten, for the second row it should be ten plus twenty thirty, for the third row it should be ten plus twenty plus thirty, which is sixty. Okay, now just try to focus on these two tables. The it is transaction table. I am naming this as A. I am naming this as B. Okay, all I need to do is think about a join condition. I need to focus on the join condition such that I could create this backend table. Okay, what is this backend table? Just have a look. Look at the first first one. Okay, this is from A dot A table, and this column is from B table. Okay, now this one and ten are joining with one and ten. ठीक है? The two, this two, and twenty are joining with one as well as two. Okay, the same two is joining with one and two. Why? Why I am trying to do this? Because if I create this structure in the backend table, all I need to do is select ID and revenue, A dot ID and revenue, and simply do the summation of this column. See how easy it will become. For the first ID, there is only ten. For element two, there are two rows here. Okay, and if I do a group by of A dot ID, so this is exactly same revenue is twenty twenty only. And if I do a group by, right? So it will come as two, and it will do a summation of ten plus twenty, which will become thirty, right? See the logic. Now for third, for three, right? If I do a group by, this becomes three, and you will do the summation of ten plus twenty plus thirty. That is the logic. So at the mindset, at the mind, all I need to do is think about the join condition. That is the only concept that you need to think. That is the logic that you need to build. Okay. So here, the condition is a dot id should be greater than equal to b dot id. That's it. Why greater than or equal to? Why why equal to? Because cumulative sum means it is the summation of the same row, the current row, along with the previous row. So you have to do summation of twenty plus ten. Okay. So had it been just greater than, then twenty two would not have joined with. Okay, that that would have created a problem. Okay, that that is why it is greater than or equal to. Okay, so one needs to join with one, right? That is that is why one needs to join with one, two needs to join with two, and two needs to join with one. Okay, therefore greater than equal to. Else, if if would if would have been only greater than, then two wouldn't have joined with two. Okay, that is why it is greater than or equal to. Now, another question that I ask sometimes is when when if let's say you written inner join, I would ask why not left join. If you've written left join, I would ask why not inner join? Will there be any difference? Okay, so you need to think that also, right? That is what when you write the query, you need that detailing to understand whether you are covering all type of concept or not. Okay, so what we've done in this query: select a dot id from i dot revenue, a basic sum sum of b dot revenue, right? And we've named as cumulative revenue, and then a group by one comma two. That's it. Okay, now I'll I'll give you an answer of What would have happened if it would have been a left join in this case, in this particular example? Would there have been any change? Okay, go to our first video of of joins of joins, right? And there you will understand that there wouldn't be any change in this particular scenario. In the example that we've taken, there would have been no no change. Okay, because both inner join and left join will work exactly the same way on this condition. There would have been a literally no change in this scenario. Okay. that's that's probably the answer for this query hope both these concepts are very clear you now understand what is self join you understand cumulative sum okay and and but also this is 
नॉट द ऑप्टिमल अप्रोच सेल्फ ज्वाइन क्वेश्चन इज नॉट द ऑप्टिमल अप्रोच ऑप्टिमल इन टर्म्स ऑफ क्वेरी एफिशिएंसी ओके रनिंग एफिशिएंसी विंडोज फंक्शन आर द मोस्ट एफिशिएंट वे बिकॉज इन द बैक एंड दे ऑप्टिमाइज अ लॉट ऑफ ज्वाइंट्स ओके सो यू शुड बी यूजिंग द सम ओवर क्लॉज दैट इज द बेस्ट आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन इज जस्ट फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड द लॉजिक think logically and and build such cases right you need to build this back end table if you could think how to build this back end table you are logically improving how to think that's it thank you